Hey folks. All right. I'm getting my live set up here. Hope we're, uh, hope we're doing okay. Um, I wanted to, uh, go on with this talk. I started a couple days ago on pressing in toward the goal. I'm going to be giving a talk in a couple of weeks and I, that's the title. And it's about, you know, like new year goal setting, that kind of thing. So I started in my last video because I'm just practicing with you. So thank you for letting me practice. And I've got, I've got an Instagram camera and a Facebook, so bear with me. But I said that I'm using the word goal as an acronym. And in my last video, I talked about G, which is get clear on what you want. So you might want to go back and check that video out. So today I'm going to talk about O. And before I do that, I'm Mary Dittman. I'm an award-winning business professor on the collegiate level and the creator of Wonderful Life and the author of How to Be Happy When You're Single and You Don't Want to Be Single. And there are a lot of things that I'm really not good at, but I am a time management ninja. Like I can get stuff done. And part of how I am productive and I get a lot of things done is some of the things that I'm teaching in this video series. All right, so we said G is get clear on what you want. Go back and watch the last video. O is own it. So now we're getting into, okay, how do you get the thing done? I like to know what to do, but I really like to know how to do it. I'm a, how do I get this done kind of person? A lot of people set goals. A lot of people write resolutions. Um, I teach at the collegiate level and most of my students have a goal of doing really well this semester. And that's great, but the success or failure is in the action steps and O, own it, really gets into the action steps. Everybody's brain wants to be right. And your brain, it's there's something in your brain called confirmation bias. So when you believe something, you look for information to reinforce what you believe, to help you feel that you're right. Everybody wants to be right. I mean, most of us don't like to be wrong about things. And by the way, social media companies know this, and that's why when you're watching videos, the algorithm will show you more of the same. They're not going to show you videos that present the opposite viewpoint. So if you're really conservative and you're watching a bunch of like conservative videos, they're not going to put some liberal videos in your feed because they want to keep you on the platform. So they're using your brain for their good so they can get what they want, which is money. What I'm going to teach you today is you use your own brain <laughs> to get what you want. So your brain wants to be right. And your brain also listens to your voice with more authority than anybody else's voice. So you just think about somebody you love and admire. Maybe it's your, your pastor or a celebrity, an athlete. And if they showed up at your door and said, you know, you're the greatest. I've been watching your social media. I think you're the, you've got good things coming this year. Or, you know, I've been sent to prophesy to you that you're going to have all your dreams come true this year. If you shut the door and said, well, they don't really know me, or they're probably saying that to everybody, your brain believes what you say more than what anyone else says. And so many times we think, if I just had someone to encourage me, but if you're not encouraging yourself, it doesn't even matter who else is encouraging you. Because if, you know, you can be in a big cheerleading session with somebody, but if you go home at night, and you're saying to yourself, oh, it'll probably never happen. I'm just, I'm too dumb. I'm too old. I'm too young. I'm too, you know, your brain is going to believe that. And all through the Bible, we're told how our words are so important. Back in Exodus, when the Israelites were grumbling and complaining, the Lord said, 
I'm going to do to them exactly what they've been saying. <laughs> um, now, we don't, we don't have to worry about that. If we're believers, we're under the new covenant. We have grace, but our words are very powerful. And, you know, I don't know if this is true, but here's my thought on it. If you're saved, then you have the seal of the Holy Spirit on you. Okay, so so the, the Satan, the enemy, the devil, you know, can't get in your head. Now you can invite that in, but, you know. And also, Satan is a fallen angel, okay? He's not omnipresent. He's not omniscient. He can't read your mind. He cannot be in more than one place at one time, okay? Now, he's got his troops with him, his little army of demons. And I personally think we probably all have, you know, at least one demon who's, you know, been sent out to try to get us. But again, a demon, much like an angel, can't read your mind. Only God can see your mind and your heart. But that's why your words are so important. And so it's, it's very important what we say out loud. And I really believe that. You might think I'm crazy, but I mean, I really believe when you're sitting around saying bad, junky stuff about yourself or about other people, I believe that the enemy hears that and that, that opens a door. Also, because angels can't read your mind, I do believe that when you are out loud quoting the word of God, angels hearken to that. There, that when angels hear you out loud saying the word of God or praising, they they they're into that. You know, they and I'm not saying that you can get angels to do what you want. But they don't work for you. But I would much rather be attracting good angels with my words than bad angels. So start to pay attention to what's coming out of your mouth. Now own it, here's, here's what you can do to start to get things done. I'm the kind of person who, I'm the kind of person who, I'm the kind of person who makes my bed every day. I'm the kind of person who goes for a walk every morning. I'm the kind of person who reads a Bible verse every night before I go to bed. I'm the kind of person who enjoys exercise. I'm the kind of person who does my laundry every week. I'm the kind of person who takes the laundry out of the dryer and folds it right away. And that might sound like something really small. I assigned this to one of my classes one time to do. And one of the students told me, she said, I know this is going to work because when I was in high school, I wanted to start exercising. And I started saying, I'm the kind of person who exercises every day. And she said, and I did. And her challenge in the college class was doing her laundry. So she started saying, I'm the kind of person who does my laundry once a week. Well, what did I tell you at the beginning? Your brain wants to be right. So because your brain wants to be right and you're telling your brain, I'm the kind of person who does my laundry once a week, your brain is like, well, we better get some laundry done. So one of the things that's important to me, and I, I'm, this is old fashioned. I'm not saying it should be important to everybody, but it's important to me. I, I'm old fashioned. When somebody gives me a gift, I write a thank you note, a handwritten thank you note, put a stamp on it, put it in the mail. And a number of years ago, one of my very good girlfriends that I really look up to told me, she said, well, I, my, um, my rule, I guess she said, my rule is when I receive a gift, I don't go to bed until that thank you note is written. And she told me when she had her bridal shower, she was up until like two o'clock in the morning writing her thank you notes because she was like i'm not going to bed until all these 50 thank you notes are written now i'm like that's hardcore but i was like that's really cool i respect that and and i i started saying i'm the kind of person who writes thank you notes or i'm the kind of person who finishes my thank you notes before i go to bed every night and now i do that now i'm not trying to write 50 thank you notes so but you know, like on Christmas or my birthday, I'm like, well, it's Christmas. What else? I, we've opened the gifts. What do I, I'm not doing anything. I'll sit here and write my thank you notes. Um, a friend of mine gave me a gift this past, you know, like in December, gave me a gift on Sunday. So of course my rule, 
I'm the kind of person who writes thank you notes uh, that, you know, before I go to bed. I went home, I wrote her the thank you note, popped it in the mail first thing Monday morning. And she lives in, in town here. So she got it on Tuesday and I saw her on Tuesday and she said, I'm gonna tell you what, that's the fastest thank you note I've ever gotten. I just gave you the gift on Sunday and here I am on Tuesday getting a thank you note. And I was like, yeah, that's how I roll. Maybe, you know, whatever it is for you, maybe it's uh, filing at work. I hate filing papers. But now what I say is I'm the kind of person who does my filing once a week. I'm the kind of person who keeps all my papers organized. And that's a story for another time. But when you start saying that, because here's why, when you start to tie your identity to the behavior, again, your brain wants to be right. Your brain is going to do what it can do to get that done. In psychology, we call it consistency. You know, there's a difference between I read and I'm a reader. There's a difference between I teach and I am a teacher. There's a difference between I go to church and I'm a believer. There's a difference between yeah, I sing praise and worship songs and I am a worshiper. When you start to, you know, I go for a run versus I'm an athlete. And when you start to tie your identity to that behavior, and especially when you're speaking it out loud to yourself, your brain hears it and is like, okay, guess we have to do it. So that's the O, G, remember we said G-O-A-L, goal, that's our our acronym that we're using. So G is get clear. Go back and watch the last video. O is own it. I'm the kind of person who. And just try it. I promise you. It'll work. And start paying attention, listening to the things that are coming out of your mouth. Make sure that you're not opening a door for the enemy with your words. So anyway, I hope that this serves you and I hope it gives you some things that maybe will help you and I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.